Fellas, we are coming off of a show where we saw a lot of ups and downs with AEW Forbidden Door, but I would say the ups were very high, and they made it uh, overall a great night. Mm -hmm. One of those ups were the fact that we saw, um, I was about to say Sasha Banks, we <laughs> saw Mercedes Monet uh, become a double champion, and right Two afterwards... Bells. We had a pretty big star come out and kind of try to steal that sunshine, that spotlight. Hello, Valentine. What did you think about this spot? And are we looking at a future main event for Wembley? I am very mixed up on this, Mr. Kenneth Bummington, because uh, the thing is, I'm not a big Britt Baker fan. I definitely enjoyed her run and like her promos were awesome. She was the breakout star for sure when it came to women in AEW. Like um, she was their MJF when it came to the women. I honestly felt that in the ring, she doesn't go that much. I think she's a, she still has a lot of work to do, unlike an MJF. Uh, but what surprised me here was the amount of reaction that she got. Like the pop for her when her music hit was insane. And yeah, like that, that really shocked me. But at the same time, it didn't because when is the last time we've seen Britt Baker? I don't know how long it's been, but to me, it feels like five years at this point. She's been gone away for so long that we yeah. finally, you know, got to see her here. And the reaction was awesome. I'm sure she's going to kill it with the promos and everything like that. And as long as you play it safe, she doesn't even have to, you know, be this incredible wrestler. No, nah, she's like, I think she's got every thing to go ahead and be at the top of the division but with mercedes monet now having two belts i just don't know that it's time for her to lose as of yet it feels like to me we're gonna see this feud happen and then dmd is gonna lose and then she's gonna go to the wwe but that's just whoa me. yo yo you gotta relax bro. you gotta me. relax you gotta chill on that one you gotta stop that but uh i believe tony khan said she hasn't wrestled since last september and when she went out Ooh. they were saying like she's not injured she's just going to go help adam cole nurse his injuries and then all of a sudden they were like oh yeah she's injured like she, she'll be back <laughs> soon but, like right. what happened when did yeah. she get injured but i mean I, I am glad she's back now a lot of good points you mentioned there though you said uh, you're not a big fan of her because you don't think she can really go like that uh, I think she's still really green. She yeah. wasn't really um, polished when AEW started, but she got a few years under her belt now. Uh, I thought the, the match with Thunder Rosa, one of the best oh, women's yeah? matches I've ever seen. Uh, but as far as her promo game, when he when she came in, she wasn't good at all. Like she was doing the baby face thing, and I don't think she really caught fire until she was on that Jericho cruise and turned on Tony Schiavone. That promo was actually terrible. But after right. that, I mean, she came into her heel self, and I think she is a natural heel now. So I don't know how we position her with Mercedes Monet because the crowd turned on her last night. They were actually booing Mercedes during that match. Now, they were saying, oh, it's because it's Boston versus New York. But, I mean, that's kind of how it's WWE debatable. covers things up. So, I don't know, man. I think the people just aren't with her. She doesn't come off as a baby face, so it might be a good thing. Let uh, Mercedes go full heel and lead us into uh, the show at the Wembley with these two as the women's main event. Now, the fact that you mentioned Britt Big or uh, Mercedes winning mm -hmm. two belts, I think that actually makes it where she can lose. We look at what happened with Will Ospreay. I think they just slapped that belt on him so he can have a belt when Swerve beat him. Now, we're looking, we could be looking at the same thing with Mercedes. No, she quick, could be going in there and go ahead. Yeah, quick question. Which belt do you think she will lose? The actual big woman's belt or like the other one <laughs> that I don't well, know? Of. Get up out of here. So that's what I don't care about. Okay. Uh, but do you put the woman's champ or the um, title? She has the TBS championship. Right. It's not time to switch it. They normally do pretty long runs with the TBS championship. So she just got it. I, I mean, it. yeah. But what about? I'm curious about Brian because he's the biggest AEW uh, guy here. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I think I, I like Britt Baker's return, man. I think uh -huh. it's going to end up well. I just think that uh, if, if, Mercedes is her first feud. I am kind of worried for her because mm -hmm. you took this much time off. You saw the pop the crowd gave her when she came back. Um, so I don't know how that's going to turn out. Kenny does have a point. Maybe they could have uh, Britt going ahead and, and win the uh, the TBS title off her. Um, you could do something like that. But then again, I don't know if you want to have Mercedes lose. And Mercedes also claims she has complete creative control on, on everything. So, Ooh, yeah, hey, you're right. Never been good. That, she is the uh, she is the new age Hulk Hogan fella. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. Hey, brother. 
I don't know. Yeah, at least we'll get hopefully, Hulk Hogan real quick. Uh, hopefully, Mercedes is not as racist as Hulk Hogan, but you never know. <laughs> I don't know. We never heard anything. Okay. Anyways, um, not yet. Yeah. Not yet. But do you give any yeah, credence what? to what I said in the beginning? Do you think Britt Baker will lose this feud and then go to WWE because, like, she was while she was on the shelf whether she was injured or looking after Adam Cole I don't know but she was going on Twitter saying like hey what are you going what's going on I'm right here put me out there and stuff like that she was kind of complaining if I remember correctly I mean and I am pretty sure because she's a promo gal WWE has a lot of interest in her I mean that's that's another Jade Cargill like it's already a star made for you You don't have to do too much of the work just put it in your programming easy so I don't know what do you think Kenny oh yeah go ahead No, the thing with Britt Baker is a little odd because I don't know. She's alluded or there's been rumors that they don't get along with Mercedes Monet. I don't know how true that is. You know what I'm saying? But I have, but I don't know, Kenny, if you remember the rumor mill that was going around where they were saying like Britt Baker wasn't happy at the fact that she was getting paid so much more. And I don't know if it was just Britt Baker herself, but um, it could have been other women in the locker room as well that could have felt away because I mean, it's just it's just nature from women, bro. You know what I'm saying? Women do this oh, more whoa, than men whoa, do. Whoa, whoa. You, gotta you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's not, not, not I ain't hating, dog. You know what I'm saying? I'm just keeping it a buck, bro. Women, <laughs> they react differently to different things, bro. And you know, we see that nowadays. You know what I'm saying? And that and my my opinions don't reflect on the whole group. They just reflect on myself. But I'm just keeping it a buck, bro. You look at the WNBA, you look at Caitlin Clark, she getting all the right. hate. You know what I'm saying, bro? So the thing is, when women get this much attention, Mercedes Monet is probably the only woman who has creative control over where her career is going and all of that money. Uh, it makes you think, bro. You know what I'm saying? Does Britt Baker leave? Is she happy in AEW? And that's just me staring the pot a little bit. We haven't heard otherwise, but hey, you look at everything that's gone down in AEW. Does Is Britt Baker needed as much as she once was? Yeah. Well, I think it's kind of like the thing of where egos collide because apparently Britt Baker wasn't um, – a lot of people didn't like her in AEW before Mercedes got there because they said she's like Tony's right hand. She's always up under him and she gets whatever she wants. Like, um, you know, it's it's wrestling things. You get the big spot. Nobody else is going to like you because you have that spot. So I don't know if that's what it is or if she was actually like kind of being snotty backstage. Who knows? But Kiro, I will say this. I don't really see her going to WWE because we already heard what Triple H said, and I think he's going to scare off a lot of uh, wrestlers with that statement he made by saying these guys are scared of the grind. Britt Baker is a doctor. Like, in real life, she's really a dentist. Yeah. And she run, like she actually practices. I think she might be down there where you are, actually, Brian. Uh, you got to find her dentist office. <laughs> but, I mean, I don't know if she's going to have time to do that WWE grind Triple H is talking about and be a dentist. So, I think in that case, it's going to be one thing or the other because I don't know if they're going to give her a lighter schedule. So I think Britt Baker stays in AEW with Adam Cole. Uh, That's a good point. Yeah, I agree. So, well, her next segment will be quite soon, July 3rd, and we'll see what happens. But yeah, it's going to be interesting for sure with the creative control Mercedes Money has. 